Hey everyone! So my name is Shivy Williams. I am a Your Health Wellness and Fitness Accountability Coach and I help you reach your goals by holding you accountable for reaching them. And one way I do that is with the 30 day challenge. That's right. It is time. It is time for us to register or to sign up for the final challenge of the year. So for December, for the December 30 day challenge, we're going to be doing an all over body challenge, all over body workout um, for the December challenge as we go out. Now, let's say you say, well, I don't want to start in December. I have a very special offer for you. It will be, I will do it later today. Um, and it is for those that decide I'm going to start working back out or work out in January. I got a special offer. But so for the December 30 day challenge, I'm going to show you guys how to do the modified and the full versions of the exercises. Let me grab this chair. Now, let me tell you this. If you have weights or bands, these ropes, if you have any of these, um, uh, you can use these as well, right? Angle bands. These are probably cheaper to get than trying to find some dumbbells or something like that, especially during this time period. So these are other things you can get for the challenge. Other things you can do for, have for the challenge as well are gonna be um, water bottles. So if you have access to a um, gallon jug, which is the cheapest thing you can buy, get a gallon jug, don't take the top off. It weighs about eight and a half pounds. You can use that. You can also use a 16 ounce bottle. You can always fill them with dirt or sand, right? Um, to give it some weight. So those are different things that you can do. So those are the cheapest ways to get um, some weight in. And if you happen to have cans, you wanna use those, you can. You can use a broomstick if you want to. Um, so you can use anything for weight if you don't have dumbbells. So here we go. First up is squats. Now for our squats, I'm gonna do modify first. If you have bad knees, right? Your knees are kind of like, ooh, I hate these. Well, you can do a couple different modified versions. First, you can just, everybody's always gonna put their butt back butt hips back and then sit and squeeze when you stand. See, it's just a little bend in the knees. Little bend, stand up, little bend, stand up. And then if you want, you can use bands, right? Like for example, you can take these, I don't like you come with bands, and step on them, bring them up. Let me separate my legs some. I wanna do them close, but you bring them up and squat and stand. That's your resistance. You can wear a weighted vest as well. So just to kind of show you how you can use this if, if you wanted to. Another modified version is to use the chair. And you're gonna sit in the chair and stand up. Now this move is something we do all the time because we have to sit on the toilet. <laughs> sit down, stand up. And as, as you can see, the move is you actually put your butt back first. And maybe you hold on to the chair to stand up. Every time you stand, regardless of which one you do, you squeeze your butt. More of an um, advance is down, up, down. You always wanna make sure your knees don't go out to the side, they stay straight. Knees should never go over the toes, which is also why you sit back. You should never sit like this and do squats, unless you're doing sissy squats. But it's not this, it's gonna make your knees hurt more. That hurts my knees just doing that. So it's always back, sit, stand, and squeeze that butt. <sighs> push-ups. So push-ups can be done against the wall, a countertop, your bed, your couch, whatever you have. I'm gonna do modified here first. On um, the chair, right? Bending the knees, and it's down and up. This is elbows back, right? Which works the back of the arms. Now, the other thing you can do is turn your fingertips in and go like this, up and down this way. You can also, if you're a little bit more advanced, but not to the floor yet, you can plank here. When you're doing push-ups, do not hold your breath. I have to remind myself of that all the time. On the floor, you can do push-ups this way. 
just like the chair. Or let me step back a little bit more. Fingertips in and go as far down as you can. You can also then come here and your plank, right? And go up and down. My chair is in the way, of course. You're on your toes. I'm gonna put my feet on the treadmill because I don't have any space, but you can keep your feet up on something if you want to, or keep them on the floor. This is decline, right? And if you want, like I could do incline, but it's almost like the chair, right? So those are your push-ups. Next up, dips. I love dips. Dips, two ways. Well, a couple, but dips can be done on the chair. And you just go down as far as you can. So maybe this is your dip, working the back of the arms like this, or you go down a little deeper. All right, this is gonna work your shoulders, your chest, the back of the arms, abs in. Um, if you're a little bit more advanced, maybe you take one foot out and alternate or both. Or one foot up, one foot down, like you're marching in place. Those will be more advanced. But the other thing you can do is on the floor, come up, hips are up, and you go down and up. Now here you won't go as deep as you can in the chair, but that's okay. And those are all of your dips. Next up, bicep curls. And as I mentioned, you can use these here, right? And you can step, you can use one and do a single bicep curls, or you can step bicep curls that way. Again, that's just using this. You can not use any weight at all. If you don't have any weight, you're not gonna use any. What you do, which is, Take and you squeeze it tight, right? I don't need any weight. See, that's tight. I just squeeze as hard as I can to activate the bicep. No weight. But you can use your dumbbells or whatever you have, broomstick. Whatever you do, you always want to squeeze tight, right? It's not this. This is not squeezing. This is just going up and down. <laughs> this squeeze is squeezing you squeeze the biceps you have to concentrate and squeeze there's no modified version of that it's just bicep curls next plank so these next um, exercises are all abs y'all like working abs we got that abs is it for you plank can be done here like the push-up plank can be done here modify Play can be done against the wall, countertop, <laughs> couch, bedded. You can also do a plank here, knees are slightly bent. When you do your plank, make sure your elbows, shoulder, wrists are aligned. Right there. On the floor, same thing. Plank, um, knees can be up. Push, like this is my shoulders sinking down. Push them away from the ears. Feet can be down, feet can be up. Same, you can go onto your elbows here, or here, or here, right? But down, you can go to your knees, elbow here, or you can put your feet up on something, right? And do a decline, like right there. A little bit more difficult, but I want to show you guys everything you can do if you're a little bit more advanced. So, after those planks, next you have scissors. Scissors with a chair. Scissors with a chair, you're not going to be doing it. <laughs> you're gonna be sitting in your chair and really just doing high knees. You can lean back, more like on a little diagonal, pick those knees up as high as possible. If you want, you can scissor like this in the chair if you'd like, but, 
you find that to be difficult, you lean back, pick those knees up, work on those lower abs. On the floor, excuse me. On the floor, let's say you cannot scissor on the floor, but you want to be on the floor. Hands go under the butt for both. And you can also up and down like this. Or hover your feet like this and cross the ankles over. All right, that's another form of a scissor, modified version. If you can do it without your hands under the butt, that's great. I do this so my lower back doesn't hurt. Regular scissors, here. You can always add ankle weights, All right? So these are your regular scissors, modified, or you can do up and down like this. All right, last exercise, but not the least of exercises, right? Is gonna be fire hydrant. So I'm just gonna start on the floor and I'll show you in the chair since I'm down here already. Fire hydrant, up and down. Ankle weights work great if you want. You can put a dumbbell, I'm just gonna grab this light one, this is two pounds. Um, dumbbell behind the knee, right? And up and down. Or your water bottle, right? Your 16 ounce water bottle with water in it, sand and dirt. And then I'm just gonna move this to the other side. Or no weight at all is also perfectly fine. And it's just up and down. All right, so with the chair, your modified version, let me pull it over here. Okay, and we bend our knees, some bend this knee, and then up and down, as high as you can get it. So maybe your fire hydrant angle is only here. It's not high, but this is as high as you can get it, that's fine. You're gonna feel this in both sides. If I feel it here, on a standing leg, and I feel it on the leg that's moving. And guess what, y'all? That's it for the December 30-day exercises. So the challenge costs $8. So you guys, don't forget to share this video. You can tag people in it. It is time to register. We start this challenge next week, and this is how we're gonna end the year, right? And start the year fresh, um, doing new 30-day challenges for 2021. You guys can register on my website, uh, www.lbxfitness.com, or you can click the link in the post or description box to sign up, and I'll see you guys in December. Bye, everyone. Keep pushing.